today's the 31st of October 2017. I made a previous um, little video of uh, some modifications I made to a mammal steamroller and showed a bit of it running around in the garden. It occurred to me that I didn't actually explain one or two things that I'd done on that roller. Um, and they were really copied from some alterations I made to this uh, traction engine. I've got absolutely no idea when or where I acquired it. It was a scrapper. And um, I seem to recall that, as usual, I made the tender, this bit, because it didn't come with one. Uh, Mr. Dibner is an addition. And um, I also had to slap a bit of paint on some of it. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is to perhaps give a little bit more detail of the modifications I made in terms of the direct gearing. Exactly the same on this machine as on the previous video with the, uh, with the roller. One of the things I've just mentioned before I get to the gearing is that um, I also... Uh, Put a bit of laggy material around the boiler um, just to sort of retain a little bit of heat as you can see in this one and this shot shows uh, a bit of brass then wrapped around the boiler to uh, to go over the to go over the lagging at one point i also removed the whistle uh, valve and fitted a uh, pressure gauge I think subsequently I removed that and reused it on another little toy I'd made somewhere. Before I show the gearing, I'll just point out a couple of other things that um, I've done to this. One is the sort of chimney extension that sticks up through the canopy. Because um, I, you know, in prototype, that's what they seem to do. I also, because the canopy gets in the way of everything when you, if you're trying to run it, if... I actually made, um, altered the lever for the operates the cylinder and connected it back to a lever up here so that if you're minded to do anything you can actually get a bit, slightly better chance of forward and reverse uh, from the back rather than trying to work your finger under what would be the canopy here. I also, like the roller, made the steering wheel there you go, this one's made out of brass, turn it up on the lathe and again like the roller I um, turned up a worm on the lathe uh, with a pinion I had from somewhere and uh, sort of made us some steering chains, well they're a bit of jewellery chain really, too light and attached them to the front axle so that you can actually turn the wheel and steal the wretched thing. Steer the wretched thing. What did I say? Steal. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, just sort of point those out before I take the wheel off and show the gearing. I uh, hope this can be seen in terms of the direct drive gearing. I don't know if I'm the only person on the planet that collects any gear he comes across, so I don't buy nothing. Uh, but somewhere or other, I acquired a box that is very nicely made. Uh, I think they're brass gears chromed. So I fitted a big one to one of the rear hind wheels there, just made a boss and pinned it on somehow. And then I made a completely a side plate, a brass side plate, which I attached to the side of the firebox. And then using a number of these uh, gears, put a gear on the uh, crankshaft or whatever you want to call it. And a drivetrain, scribed it all out, and drivetrain um, down to the rear axle. And the large, the large gear actually meshes from this one here. I did this years ago, so I can't quite remember, but I think the ratio might be approaching 70 to 1 total, um, which is about right, really, because otherwise they, they run away. Uh, much less friction than the uh, funny. Um, steel drive belt that Mamod seemed to uh, to fit as a standard um, and worked much much better 
I've been watching some uh, some videos on YouTube. Quite a lot of people seem to know quite a lot about Mammoth, which I certainly don't. Um, so I don't know how old this thing is when it was made exactly. Um, one of the clues to age seems to be something to do with um, whether it's got a sight glass or not. This one doesn't. Um, it's got this little plug, I think, which gauges the water level. Um, this was a wreck. It was a scraps thing somewhere I found it. Um, can't quite remember now what I had to do, but I have a feeling that some of this had to be uh, refurbished. These look like two odd screws that I would have put in for some reason, so maybe it was leaking. I don't know. And as I say, I did also make the um, tender or whatever you want to call it, folded out from a bit of brass. Because I've got a little... Um, logging thing that I tow about with it if I do run it um, I actually made a couple of um, sort of stud things here that lock the tender more securely to the engine so that if you do tow something with it this bit doesn't fall off which it used to not that I run it very often because I surely don't um, anyway so I hope that's a, a little bit helpful in terms of um, uh, we managed to put the gears on it's all self-explanatory so i'm not going into any detail um and you don't have to use the gears that i found any set of gears would do and you just make a little depth engage thingy to, to line the gears up and scrub it on a bit of brass and bolt it to the side and there you go um don't think there's anything much more to say I probably, I'm not going to take it apart, I probably fitted an O-ring to the cylinder like I normally do with these if I fiddle about with them. So there's probably an O-ring in there somewhere. Um, I also made a, because of wear problems, I actually made a, um, a brass sleeve to go over the crank pin to uh, to reduce some of the wear that seems to, these things seem, the ones I've got anyway, seem to wear quite dramatically at this point. So I fitted a little brass sleeve to it might be bronze, I don't know really, to mitigate against that. Well, just one more thing actually, when I acquired this thing, the mess burner, uh, the original one was completely and utterly rotted out, uh, rusted away to nothing. I did have an attempt at sort of soldering it up and trying to fix the leaks, but every time I fixed one and then poked it, another bit of metal fell out and it leaked somewhere else. I was going to make one, but in the end I gave up and uh, bought a new one and there it is really the only other thing perhaps I should have said I removed the standard um, hubcaps or whatever it is that Mam would use and actually fitted um, collars each side um, and this to control and space out the, the wheels correctly because you can't afford to have the wheel flopping about with the gear in, the gears are only eighth of an inch wide, so everything needs to be more reasonably uh, secured for running purposes. Just a little um, shot of the fuel I use for these mammoths when I get around to running them, not very often. And my preference is for this methanol, which I got years ago. I bought it to run me garden railway trains, but candidly, it doesn't really produce, unless it's a really hot summer, it doesn't produce enough. Um, enough heat for me trains so um, I'm using it up on the mammoths uh, doesn't smell like mess burns without smoke and for these things it's um, it's jolly good stuff it's nearly all gone now I shan't buy any more I think I got it from Cliff Barker at South End is where I acquired it um, shop bought mess in my opinion is absolute rubbish I'm convinced they got Put more water in it than they do methylated spirits but i don't know but it don't seem to produce any heat to me and it smells of course anyway so that's what we stick in the burner all right put some water in the boiler i've lit the burner put the tender back on it's the dibners in place let's hope nothing catches fire because it'll melt um and we'll give it a little uh, little run i'll put the canopy on now Mr. Dibner is looking uh, suitably, I don't know if it's impressed or bemused, couldn't say really. Um, I've oiled everything around with my uh, 
mixture of rapeseed oil and steam oil that I think I referred to in the previous uh, YouTube clip. <coughs> so we'll see if it will go. Eventually. Oh, there we go. Um, so there we have it. <coughs> I think I said this is a, this this machine was a scrapper, all sorts of bits missing and whatnot. So I did a bit of painting, not very well, and stuck my own name on the side, as you do. The white steam tractor company. Bit of cuff puff coming out of me. Um, Short chimney extension on the canopy there. That was made out of a bit of um, copper pipe plumbing, I think, to be honest. Such a long time ago when I did all this, I don't remember. Um, I don't know whether the uh, picture of the gearing comes out very well. Probably not. But uh, there you go. I would run it outside, but. The only reason I'm fiddling about with this today is it's a horrible day, it's raining, I had some repairs to do with the garden railway but it's so wet I can't be bothered to go out there, it's miserable. So like you do, I thought what shall I do? I'll come and play with this, which I haven't done for many years. Anyway, hope it's a bit interesting, I'll just leave it to run for a second or two and then that'll be it. This is a view from the other side. Mr. Dibner said he's had enough, he's just off for a pint. But this is just showing the cylinder. Uh, like most traction engines, prototype or mammals, uh, typically they only drove the one wheel, so the wheel that's driving with the gears is actually on the other side of the machine. I think we're now getting quite low on water and mess. This is all. all Done at one steam up, I haven't um, refilled, this is all on one go. Uh, just for comparative purposes, the one on the right is a completely unmodified Mamod. Again, no idea when or where I acquired it, absolutely none. The one on the left is the one that I've um, fiddled, about, fiddled about with and, and modified a bit. Um, as far as I'm aware, the one on the right is completely, completely as, uh, as Mamod made it, complete with... Um, their tender. I wonder which one Fred would prefer. Just a couple of snaps of the traction engine to finish in its unpainted state, showing a, a logging wagon in tow. The little steam crane in the next uh, snap is actually a homemade job and perhaps one day I'll uh, do a little video of that working. Thank you very much.